So we're here with my dad in Indio, and he's got an infestation of boatman bugs. So how long has it been going on for? Uh, about three weeks. And there's really no solution you can think of? Uh, are they going to disappear? Uh, there was some stuff you could put on uh, to kill all the algae and cut off the oxygen. But that's only temporary because they're still falling out of the sky. So what do they think about the permanent solution? Is there anything that's going to happen? Don't know. Huh. I'm hoping that a frost would kill them. But so I'm going to show you in this video some chip tips to prevent them from clogging up your filter at least. Yeah. So these boatman bugs will breed an algae that's in your pool. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a high chlorine level so no algae is growing in your pool. That way they don't lay eggs and multiply. In this case there's no bugs being grown in this pool. I think they're coming from the lakes nearby at the Terralago Golf Course. You can see from this footage that there's a lot of lakes in the golf course here where these boatman bugs can definitely breed. So what is happening is that they're just swarming and falling out of the sky all over the neighborhoods. And of course they're going to be attracted to the water in the swimming pool. So chlorine is ineffective in killing them. The only way to actually kill them is to take them out of the pool and spray bleach directly on them and that will kill them. So all you can do is keep the bugs from clogging up your filter at this point. So what I suggest, the first thing you want to do is get a filter sock or filter saver and put this in your skimmer. This will prevent the bugs from going through the skimmer basket into the pump basket into the filter and clogging it up. The next thing you may want to do is to get a liquid cover. One of the side effects or drawbacks to the liquid cover is that it leaves a film on the surface of the pool and this film will prevent the boatman bugs from going underneath the water, or prevent a lot of them from going underneath the water. Some will still go under the water if you have an automatic cleaner. They'll cling to the hose and get pulled underneath the water. But the liquid pool covers are a great way to keep the bugs from going underneath the surface where they can breed and find algae. So you may want to invest in a liquid pool cover for your pool. Another thing you can do is get a canister for your automatic cleaner. The canister will also help prevent the bugs from going from the automatic cleaner from the bottom of the pool into your filter system. So the bottom line, these, the filter sock and then a canister to prevent any bugs from going into the filter. This is all you can do at this point if you have an infestation of bugs like the boatman bugs here in Indio. So if you have boatman bugs in your pool and you think that you may have some microalgae that you can't see when you brush your pool, a good solution to this is not to add algicide to your pool. I would rather you put a Pool RX unit in the pump basket. This will ensure that any microalgae will be killed and the boatman bugs won't have any food to eat. And unlike the back swimmer bugs which bite, boatman bugs are harmless. So hopefully as the weather changes and gets cooler, um, they won't breed as much in the lakes nearby in the Coachella Valley area and the boatman bugs will disappear from the area. Indiopools.com is a proud sponsor of swimming pool tips and have been helping pool owners find the right pool parts since 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have your parts delivered right to your door.